Make sure you get all your college work done so you have less homework. You'll wind up like me. You also want to pay attention and take notes so you do well. Oh, when you're in the classroom in AP Road, you definitely don't want to be messing around. <laughs> Well, to start off, he's got a dog named Bailey. He likes to call him Bubba. He's also he also drives a Kia. Which is nice. Introducing the most fuel efficient crossover, the Kia Nero. He's a Phillies fan and an Eagles fan. They should be all teams that suck. Yeah, that's about it. Oh, he's got a receding hairline. Good fall. He's very uh, more light on the work, but still, you're gonna want to expect some work. If I can do it, you can do it. I made it. Over the year, many assignments are given for homework including ant puzzles. One tip I can dispense to you to make your year smoother is to make notes on the ant puzzles. These notes can be used to fill out study guides. <laughs> they, are, they are also good tools for AP, world study tests, and global readings. Believe me, it will make your life a lot easier. Watch it. Watch it. did that last time. What's up, bro? Hey guys, Dylan Hamer here. Mr. Repertus' favorite student of all time. Did you know that he actually named his son after me? Anyway, we're gonna talk about ways to not make him mad. And the first way is if you don't wanna make him mad, don't go up to him, put your arm around his shoulder, and take a selfie. 99, 100, yeah, eat that. Tip number two, never talk about how Allen Iverson left the six here. Tip number three. Never complain about homework. It's a grind. No pain, no gain. Tip number four. Don't talk about the Eagles losing record. It gets them tight as hell. <laughs> Tip number five. Don't talk about Joel Embiid's knee and Ben Simmons' knee. Tip number six. Don't talk about the Eagles. <laughs> Tip number six. Don't bottle flip in class. All of these tips and your year will be as smooth as butter. <laughs> um, did you have any friends in class? Yeah, I had a couple friends, mainly CJ. CJ was basically my only friend in the class. What do you mean? So, like, do you have any friends in the AP world? Yeah, Jake Bennett, Matt Cannonman, Spencer, Draeger, Siraj. Oh, good bros. What about, what about Dylan? Never. Oh. Um, ladies, what was your experience with AP Worlds? Uh, drop it. The first week is cool. Um, I just didn't take it at all, so. <laughs> <laughs> drop it before failure. <laughs> okay, did you drop AP World History? Yes. Did you regret that decision? Yeah, I actually really regret that decision. I heard it was a really great class. Thank you. That's all we need. Um, um, what are your thoughts about Mr. Repertus? Uh, I think Mr. Repertus is the man. I get a little jealous. I wish I was more. Um, what's the question? <laughs> what are your thoughts about You wish you taught if you were? Uh, I do. I do. But I can never meet up to the standards of Mr. Burtis, so I wouldn't want to, you know, jeopardize my job. That's a good answer. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, um, hello, freshmen. Hey. Hi. Um, are you guys taking AP World History next year? Yes. Yep. Do you guys know what the Ottoman Empire is? Yeah. What is it? The Empire. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a really good answer. Do you know what it is? Yeah, the Ottoman. Oh. What? Wow, you guys know your stuff. Probably because you're take, taking AP World History, am I right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs>
Sorry guys, don't actually drop out. If you put in the effort and try, you'll be fine. Also, Mr. Pertis gives us a whole bunch of free grades to help our averages. He tells us really funny stories, and we do fun projects like this one. <laughs> be sure to ask about peaching. One, study. Two, study. And three. All the tests that we take throughout the year help us for the AP exam. We take a lot of practice LAQ, DBQs, and SAQs to help. You'll find out what those are later. Don't worry, you'll be fine as long as you work hard. Don't worry about it now. By the time the AP exam comes around, you'll be ready. 